It may be necessary to cut your stack stone panels during installation. In this ex example, the installer is cutting a corner panel in half and then cutting the required step in the panel for locking into the next panel once it's laid onto the wall. To ensure that your tiling is level and straight, put chalk lines in every 150mm horizontally or if your panel is 200mm wide, every 200mm horizontally. When mixing the powder adhesive with the latex additive, mix to a consistency that the adhesive stays on the trowel when held up on a 45 degree angle. It should, however, shake off the trowel easily. Put the adhesive to the back of the stack stone panel, covering a minimum of 90% of the back of the tile. Notch the adhesive on the wall with a 10 or 12 mil notch trowel, and with a pushing twisting motion, lay the stone panel onto the wall. In this case, the installer has started with an external corner piece. Ensure that the bottom row is level. This is helped by our previous chalk lines. But always use a level to ensure it is perfect. Adjust levels when necessary using tiling wedge spaces. It is a great idea that once this bottom course is fully installed and level, that you let it dry before tiling above it. gap underneath a panel, once it's leveled, simply insert a temporary wedge spacer. Whilst if there's a vertical gap in a corner panel joint, you can cut a piece of stone and insert it into the void. Also use a vertical level to ensure your job is plumb. Finished installation. Notice how the internal corners meet in a butt joint, whilst the external corners are finished with a natural exposed surface on the leading edges. Stand back and admire your great stack stone installation, and marvel at how it looks like every single piece, every sliver of stone was placed individually onto the wall by a stonemason.